Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to be covering the volume of cones in 8th grade math. If you missed any of the other volume videos, you can find those linked below. A cone is a 3D shape with a circular base and one vertex. The volume is the cubic units needed to fill the cone. We've already covered how to find the volume of a cylinder. If you were to take a cone and turn it upside down and fill it up with anything, let's just say we're going to fill it up with popcorn, and then you're going to pour that into a cylinder with the same size base and the same height, that would take three conefuls to fill the cylinder. So the volume of a cone is one third the size of a cylinder. So we're going to use that information to figure out the formula here. So we're going to use that information to understand the formula for a cone. So the formula for a cone is going to be one third the area of the base times the height. Or because it is a circular base, you can use volume equals one third pi r squared h. The biggest thing you have to pay attention to is that your radius is going to only be half the distance of your circle and your height is going to be from the center of the base to the top of the cone. So you want to make sure that the height is this number right here. If it gives you the height of the diagonal, that is not going to be your height of the cone. So the height of the cone is where the line goes from the center of your circle and makes a 90 degree angle with your radius. So if the height of a cylinder is 7 inches and the radius is 4 inches, we want to find the approximate volume using 3.14 for pi. So again, we're just going to use our formula here and we're going to plug in what we know. So we know 1 third and we know times pi, so that's our 3.14. And then we're going to plug in our radius. And the radius on this problem is 4 inches. So that's 4 squared times the height, which is 7 inches. So if we were just finding the volume of a cylinder, we wouldn't have the 1 third. So it's really the same process, except you do have to divide by 3 so that you get the volume of a cone and not a cylinder. So first, following our order of operations, we have to do our exponents. So now we have volume equals 1 third times pi times 16 times 7. If I solve this on a calculator, my volume is approximately 117.2 inches cubed. We're going to have to cube our answer because cubic means volume and volume is from a 3D figure. We want the three dimensions, the length and the width of the base and the height of the actual shape. So that's three dimensional, so we have a cubed answer. So if a traffic cone has the height of two feet and the diameter of 20 inches, what is the approximate volume? And they want us to use 3.14 for pi. So here I know that it's a cone, it tells me the shape, and it tells me that it wants to know the volume. So we know exactly what formula we're going to use, we know exactly what shape we have, so we're going to plug it in. So volume equals 1 third, pi is 3.14. Now my radius, my radius is going to be half the distance of the diameter. So if the diameter is 20 inches, my radius is 10 inches squared, and then my height here is 2 feet. Now I have a little bit of a problem because if one's in feet and one's in inches, I can't just compare those. So I have to change my feet to inches, which is 24 inches. So now I can put 24 into my problem and solve. Again, order of operations, I have to do 10 squared first. Everything else comes down. And when I solve for the volume, it's going to be approximately 2,512 inches cubed. So this problem was a little bit harder because we had to find our radius based on the diameter. So you have to make sure you remember which one is labeled as which. And then we also had to convert our feet to inches so that all of our measurements matched. And then we could solve for our volume in cubic inches. Thanks for joining me today for volume of cones in eighth grade math. I'm Mrs. D. Math. Have a great day. Bye.